Jack's here basically, Jack, to kind of help us recognize, I mean, maybe something that we already know, but we're just not listening to it. Yeah, exactly. So for um, intuition, it's pretty much, it, it can come through different ways to different people. So for the very creative and the very artistic people, they'll get um, visuals in their mind that mm -hmm. tell them, you know, it's a good way or bad way for them. Um, the more auditory person, so the people that learn better through like hearing instructions, they'll probably get that subtle voice telling them, oh, that's the right way or you probably want to go a different way. Mm -hmm. And with the more sensory people, or some would say some more emotional people, they would more feel it like sensory throughout their body. So they might get a chill, or they might have an hmm. um, instant gut feeling. And then there are the very left brain people, like myself, who um, we just have this kind of instant, oh, I, I, it's not a feeling, it's not a visual, it's not even a little voice, it's just something's not right. Mm. And so we just kind of have to learn how to tap into that and, well, not even just tap into it, but understand when it's happening so yeah. that we can um, go further into it. Yeah. So what's yeah. the difference? Because a lot of people say, well, you know, it's faith, you know, it's something in me telling me to mm -hmm. go this way. What's the difference between being psychic or having intuition or mediumship? Yeah. What's the difference there? Well, mediumship is where one links to the spirit world and makes a direct uh, communication with um, a loved one or a friend and is able to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Whereas a psychic is going to deal with your energy, like your aura, your chakras, and be able to tell you about your past, present, and future. So that's the person linking to someone else. Mm -hmm. Now, a intuitive, everybody's intuitive. What we can do to work with that is, um, I, I love giving examples from my own life. So like when I was a teenager, um, my sister drove us to school. It was me, her, and her boyfriend. I was the last one in the car. And when I got in the car, I just, uh, not even when I got in the car, I just went up to the car and I was like, Oh, I know something, something's not right. Something, I just can't put my finger on it. And as mediums or psychics, we can't really see into our own lives the same way we can see for others. Mm -hmm. So for that, I have to go back to my intuition just like anybody else. In that case, I really should have, but my sister was like, we gotta go, we're finally on time, let's go. So I just dismissed it, got in the car. Five minutes later, we're in a car accident where her boyfriend has to be airlifted, that the car's oh totaled, gosh. so really yeah. I should have listened. Right. Now, um, going into college, I had a criminal investigations class, and um, that was kind of a, anyway. Um, so that morning, I woke up with just this anxiety, like, oh, something's not right. I, and I know from my own understanding of myself, I have test anxiety. So I knew that particular anxiety had to do with a test just because I felt it so often. And so just like in uh, everybody else's life, they have to ask themselves questions. So I was like, okay. And I'm a very visual person as well. So I closed my eyes and I was like, okay, asking my soul, my intuition, okay, is this with my, uh, is this with my anthropology class? And it just didn't fit in my mind. Wow. And then I went through, is this my psychology class? And just something didn't fit. It just didn't stick. The image didn't stick. I visualized myself in my uh, criminal investigations class and uh, instantly I was like, oh God, I'm panicking. I'm, I, oh yeah. God. So that's how I knew that I was, something was going to happen there. So I just studied two out of the three chapters that um, were next up in that book. And I go into class and I'm like, did, I, did he say anything about a test or a quiz or anything? They're like, no, no. And I asked about five different people. Guy comes in, he's like, all right, um, take a piece of paper out, we're doing a quiz. Mm -hmm. And it was out of the two out of the three chapters that I actually read. Wow. And like three people just looked at me like, how did you, how know, did that? you know that? <laughs> well, see, yeah. that's, I think so, What? because I was going to ask you, mm -hmm. you know, I think we all have that intuition. We all yeah. have instinct. We all mm -hmm. have this gut feeling when to dismiss it, mm -hmm. like you did with the car accident, and when to really listen. Because sometimes listening can be inconvenient. For example, if you did not get in that car, you would have made your sister really angry yes. and right but so are you saying we need to ask those questions of ourselves in order to test to see if this exactly. is valid exactly and it, I, I said this the last time it's all about trial and error you're not gonna have everything right your intuition isn't gonna be so fine-tuned the first few times you do it mm -hmm. and a lot of people will get discouraged saying oh well I wasn't right about this or this was off and you know and well of course you're just starting out you're just starting to finally listen to that intuition again do you, do you suggest meditation I do um, just 
just because that can really center yourself in you. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people think meditation, like if I asked you what, what, what do you visualize when you think of meditation? What would be the first like image just that would pop clearing in your, your mind. I think of like somebody going home. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Right? And that is, and that's not the case for mm -hmm. uh, every type of meditation. Um, sitting there and closing your eyes, clearing your mind, that can work. But for some people, it doesn't. They have to be moving. So there's yoga, Pilates, there's even walking. I, I mean, just honestly. Say, walking. Yeah. 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 Honestly. I gotta, I gotta go clear my mind and that's what I do. <laughs> I go for a walk. Honestly, I'm a weird person. I can meditate while doing the laundry. Like I will, yeah. before a client comes over, I may be doing laundry, folding everything and their loved one starts to step forward because I hit that meditative state for myself. And that Jack takes so. time for people. Yeah, you're yeah. not weird. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that was so intuitive. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. We appreciate I it. I actually, I learned something today, yeah. Jack. Thank you for that. That was